Hello, my name is Sarah. For today's video, I made another Try It Tuesday video, but I'm posting it on a Saturday. Today, I'm unboxing and reviewing my new Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors. I ordered it from Amazon a few weeks ago for about $13. It comes with the paints all individually wrapped, and a teeny tiny little brush. You can see that it's way smaller than the brush I usually use, which is a size 5 round brush. The watercolor itself is also very small, um, and like way smaller than the watercolors that I usually use, as you can see. I'll put all the names of the colors on the screen as I unwrap them. Now, this palette is 5 inches in length, um, and there isn't much room for mixing colors, but there is enough. Um, for mixing like small amounts of color and it's really nice for traveling. It comes with 12 colors, lemon yellow, cadmium yellow hue, cadmium red, alizarin crimson, ultramarine, intense blue, viridian hue, sap green, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and Chinese white. This set doesn't come with black which is a little disappointing uh, because I, use, I do use it to darken colors sometimes, but there are ways to make shades with <coughs> without black. I've been mixing ultramarine, alizarin crimson, and lemon yellow or cadmium yellow hue to make a darker color, and then adding more of one of the other colors to fit the whatever color palette that I'm using. Right off the bat, it's clear that intense blue is very pigmented, which caught me off guard a little the first time I tried mixing um, a blue a blue colored hair for a sketch that I did. Oh, uh, one more thing before we get into painting. These half pans are not attached to the palette, so I took some masking tape and stuck it into each pan and, and stopped them from moving around. I also put a dot of water under each color so that the paints would stick to the pans. Alright, so I am now testing mixing these colors and painting this picture of a girl that I drew off camera. The supplies and reference photo that I used are in the description box as always. I did make a video of me using this palette earlier this week, but I was having a really hard time getting the colors that I wanted and just making the overall sketch look nice. I did film it, I can insert a small clip of it, or just a picture. Um, as you can see, like, it's just not something that I wanted to share as a whole video because I don't think it reflects the quality work that I want this channel to have. Um, yep, for some reason I just couldn't get the paint and like just get it the way that I envisioned it looking. Anyways, I used a lizard crimson and a little ultramarine for the hair color on this on this lovely lady and some burnt umber and a lizard crimson for the skin. I used mixtures of these three colors for the detail and shadow too. Oh yeah, and today I'm also filming in my living room instead of my room, so the lighting's a little bit different. I'm using more natural light. Um, yeah, just wanted to put that out there. This isn't my desk. This is like 
a small laptop desk thing that I use whenever I'm painting in my living room and not filming. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Also, you should follow me on social media. My Instagram is PGH, just the same as my YouTube. I post art there. Um, that way you can like comment and talk to me and like pictures if you want to. I wanted to make a grey background, but since this palette doesn't have any blacks or greys, I mixed one myself using ultramarine, intense blue, a touch of alizarin and crimson, and a little yellow. I think uh, the background looks uh, interesting and I like it. I also, um, I like these watercolors. I thought the first time I opened them and tried them out, I was thinking this is way different than the Daily Roundy paints that I use. They're not actually that much different, and they come with similar colors. Uh, if you guys are interested, I can tell you the colors that I usually use with Diller and Rowney. But these paints are really nice. I think they're really good for the price. I think they're just good quality in general. They're studio, so they're like student quality. I've never had any like artist fine quality watercolors because I only started using watercolors a few months ago. Well, probably actually a year now. But um, yeah, I think the colors turned out really well. I like the way this girl looks. She looks a little different than the reference that I used, but that's okay, because that's what I usually do. Um, yep. Oh, and for the eyes on this this girl, I drew the pupils first, like before painting anything, and it looked kind of weird to me, so I was a little bit afraid that this would turn out weird too, but I think it turned out well. Um, I used sap green and some burnt umber for her eyes, uh, and it turned out looking pretty. Sap green's way lighter than I thought it would be too. Earlier on in the video when I swatched all the colors, I thought it was going to be more like what it looks like in the palette, but I was okay. Like I said, you can darken these colors with mixing um, blue, yellow, and red together to make a dark color and then putting in whatever color you want to change it to. So if I did feel like making darker green, that's what I would do.
Well, that about does it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. You should like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.